And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from Westlake Village, California. It is bright, it's beautiful, and it is Monday. Sorry, I missed you guys. I was out last week, but I did need to take a little time. Uh, and I'm glad to be back and to be getting in the groove of things as Elon Musk launches X a day before WorldCoin, the chat GBT coin is launched. Pretty incredible. And here's WorldCoin. Uh, so Sam Altman and Alex Blania say they founded WorldCoin three years ago and they want it to be a, a new identity and financial network owned by everyone. The rollout begins today. If successful, we believe WorldCoin could drastically increase economic opportunity, scale a reliable solution for distinguishing humans from AI online while preserving privacy, enable global democratic process, and eventually show a potential path to AI funded UBI. Yep, that all sounds a little bit scary to me. And I think what they're talking about is having some kind of a retinal scander that allows for the AI to pick up if you're human or not, and somehow it's still gonna protect your identity. Um, but I know that's not what you guys are here today. You're here for Elon. Elon's want, launching X headquarters tonight, uh, pretty much the day before uh, Sam Altman launches WorldCoin. You have Elon launching X and he was being interviewed. I watched a little sn snippet of it, um, but he, he literally said that he thinks this could take over half of the world's financial system if X is implemented properly. And uh, yeah, don't take that for a great quote. I'll try and get you guys that one tomorrow. But uh, something in that extent, so two billionaires, two huge competitors going at it. Meanwhile, Bitcoin is resolving. Uh, it looks like the break of the range to the downside on the daily time frame. We are pretty much, um, you know, had a nice little bull trap right there, sucked in the liquidity and spitting it back out the four hour and the 12 hour uh, seem to have done the job for us. And so the question is, how low do we go? Uh, volatility is just beginning to expand on the uh, on the 12 hour. So this one actually getting it perfect. This is exactly what you wanna see. So a uh, little retest and then, you know, continuation um, on the daily time frame as volatility is expanding above 25%, you can get anywhere from like a 12 to a 15% move. Um, and so I think the question is, you know, how does the dollar react? What are they going to do with the next rate hike? Um, is there going to be a pause or not? So 12% would bring you all the way down um, to probably 25,000. Nope, not quite 26. Uh, personally, I like the little green box of peace and prosperity. And um, what I could essentially do is just, you know, we didn't break the range to the upside, bringing it to the downside. So how does that look? Typically, um, you get that initial leg down, a retest of the support, and then something like that. And that's going to line up right with your 0.5 and your 618 fib. And, uh, or sorry, right at the 618 there. And I'd be looking for higher lows to come in somewhere in that region. You know, could we get a wick down and test this trend line? Absolutely. But over than that, uh, other than that, I think on the weekly time frame, uh, we are still you know, uh, we are still in good shape. And what I mean by that is a daily or sorry, a weekly uptrend making higher highs and higher lows. I'd expect trend continuation to happen. Uh, in that sense, let's check in on Dixie. So as we got the break below, uh, what are we doing? We're coming back up and test the nine for support. It does look like it wants to do a little bit more. Uh, I wouldn't be calling a reversal until really until you get back above this high right here, um, or, you know, more exactly, um, anywhere in this region, you're probably breaking, you know, breaking trend there to the upside. Um, what could possibly cause that? What else do I want to talk about for altcoin? So again, as the dollar comes down, typically risk assets go up. However, Bitcoin didn't really move as the dollar had a big swipe down last week. And now, you know, something to keep your eye on as well is NASDAQ putting in a bit of a top. Uh, I don't know if you'd call that a hammer or a gravestone or shooting star, whatever you want to call it. Typically a bearish reversal candle there. 
Um, and I wouldn't be surprised to see a short-term correction at some point. NASDAQ is almost back to the highs of the year. You know, definitely shocker there. And um, I don't know, apparently soft landing and uh, pausing the rate hikes is enough to, you know, flip the entire economy back around along with an AI boom. And pretty soon we'll have UBI and flying cars. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, but Bitcoin is kind of doing its job marching it, stair-stepping it up and to the right. And so I'm, I'm good with that. Um, ETH Bitcoin, that I think was, sorry, Tether Dominance, covering this really quick on the daily time frame. Um, we wanted to see the exact kind of opposite thing. So this is a bit of a bull trap. And, um, you know, you see the uh, bull trap, bear trap, excuse me. So breaking the, you know, trend line to the downside, did not get any follow through, right? No volume. And now we're here taking out these wicks. I'd say anywhere, you know, back above here. And it's not going to be an alt season. It'll be uh, alt decimation. Now, um, as Tether dominance goes up, right? People are selling their altcoins, putting in Tether. So something to keep an eye on here. We want to see this kind of make another lower high, and another lower low. And that'd be good for your, kind of your alt season. Bitcoin dominance also taking a leg down, supporting those altcoin bulls. I think it's a bit of a short-term correction as we identified a break of this range. And um, this is a, kind of a macro range. We're in a long time with Bitcoin dominance as we're breaking it to the upside. We now have a target around 54% and then a larger target up at 63%. Um, unless we get some kind of a major trend reversal on the weekly time frame. Um, and Ethereum, I want to take a look at Ethereum for the week. Where is ETH? So, massive, you know, ascending triangle here. And, um, you know, if Bitcoin stays bullish, I do imagine Ethereum to follow suit with more gains, like it always does. Um, so first, Bitcoin then Ethereum, then typically more of the altcoins get some love. And, uh, you know, could you call that a false positive or a bull trap? Yeah, absolutely. But deeper target about 3,200. Uh, Ethereum is, you know, leading the DeFi space in my opinion. Um, and I think, um, you know, they're, they're gonna continue to do well. They've had some successful upgrades. But again, not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor here. And uh, where does this idea get destroyed? Well, taking out the last prior weekly low here at, how high is that? That is at about 1700 bucks. Right now you've got the silver cross, that's good for the bulls and you've got low volatility. So one a, a classic setup, you know, you wanna see a bit of a test of the cross, low volatility and expansion. And you'll see momentum did just cross to the upside on the weekly time frame. So we'll see if it uncrosses itself by closing this week below 1800 bucks. Um, and then, yeah, so anywhere below this wick here, you know, probably gonna test the bottom side of this triangle and this ascending triangle, which these do have a 75% chance of breaking out to the upside typically. Um, yep, so I think that is it for today, guys. I do appreciate if you hit the like button, subscribe. Um, if you have any questions, comment below, feel free. I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. Take care and have a blessed day.